Stacey, the next question is yours. Okay, it says, the book says that Antonio told Malia her beauty and brains were enough to make kings bow down to her. Game. Um, <laughs> do you think Malia missed the signs Antonio was... <laughs> Did you, do you think Malia missed the signs Antonio was sending? Do you think he was trying to shoot a shot at her? He was. Tell me that wasn't game, bro. He's like in a whole committed relationship. And I mean, he didn't even say like, oh, no, baby girl, you got nothing to worry about. You smart. You you know, whatever. He's like, yeah, because the king's a bow down to you. I'm like, game. Um, <laughs> And knew she was drunk, too. Okay. Was a little tipsy, and blah blah blah. He knew what he was doing. Um, and yeah, I think because she was on, you know, she came over there, she was so caught up in her feelings with Chan and trying to get information on him. And she's with a trusted friend, she kind of like let her guard down. She got, you know, sloppy, not slop. Well, maybe it was like she was a little tipsy, she couldn't make it home. I think it was a lack of food that caused it to just become really bad, you know. Girl, Gotta have food with alcohol, me. folks. You know, I, you know, I get way. angry. I don't have no food and sitting there drunk. It, we throwing chairs in the club. You know what I mean? Like, it's going down. I'm not going to be nice and, oh, let's have a lovely drunken conversation. No, nah, I'm ready to fight. So, um, yeah, her being really, really um, messed up, I think, played a part in her missing the signs Antonio was sending, he was definitely shooting his shot. He was hoping that conversation was going to go. Right. And he had, and that was something that he had always told her, you know, over the years, mm -hmm. you know, even when she was sitting there in the living room doubting herself that, you know, he was always like, no, you're beautiful. Like, why do you say that? Like, oh, you know, Malia, like, you know, you've always been that bad chick. Like she just is so broken and, and drunk at this point, you know, she's not seeing it. What were your thoughts, Kyrie? Um, yeah, I think she missed it in this moment because she wasn't thinking about him, you know, um, and like Lena <laughs> said, in every other situation where he has, you know, said those things, you know, she's, I mean, he's like a brother to her, you know, they've been friends for so long. So it's just like, you know, that's what close male friends say and brothers say, you know, so it's not really nothing to like, oh, that was, you know, that was nice and sweet, but nothing beyond that, you know, but in this right. moment, I felt like, you know, he was he, he was wanting it to really, really, really mean something. But she wasn't thinking about him. She done met Chan, sir. You, you, your, your time has come and gone. You missed it. You're with April. Get out of here with your foolishness. Definitely. Um, I think you, you made a good point about him being with April. Um, and before he had April, he had other women in his life. So it's hard to be like, did she miss a shot? I think she missed it because she didn't think that he was sending one. I mean, you know, you've had male friends and people like, you know, you're attractive. You know what I'm saying? But just because you're saying that your female friend's attractive, it's not saying that you want to be with her. I mean, maybe that's guy code for, yeah, like if something doesn't work out, I'm definitely here for you, sis. Uh, please call 911. I don't know, like, because I'm not a man. Um, but I definitely think that she she missed it. And it was because she wasn't looking for it. She didn't feel that, you know, that energy coming off of him. She knew he was in a relationship. So why would he be, you know, shooting a shot at her? So next question is mine. It says, Malia seems to be under a lot of pressure. She revealed that she was so depressed and didn't want to live because of what her father did. She felt like she could be losing everything. If you were in her shoes, what would you do? What would you do, Kyrie? Run away. Run. <laughs> Run as fast as I can. I have yeah. always been a runner. I'm trying to go find my peace, find my quiet, and get away from the drama in any situation possible. And... I think people, um, they always say, uh, if Monica's not comfortable, you're going to look up, she's going to be gone. She will sneak out the back door. Um, so that's always my go-to. People start tripping. I don't want, I don't want no parts of it. If we can't handle this peacefully and calm, civilized. Oh, um, I'm going to go use the bathroom. 
and then you won't see me again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wouldn't family yeah. or family or not. I'm I gotta go. I can't I can't do it. So that's how that's how I would have handled it, and that's how I have handled things. You know, I'll shut myself away and I'll send a smoke signal, let y'all know I'm alive. You know, but other than that, you won't be hearing from me until I um, have pulled myself together so I can proceed in life. Oh, she means that too. The smoke signal gets sent. Um, I really felt for Malia here um, to say that you're to a point in your life where you're so depressed, where you don't want to live anymore. I feel like she's reflecting on what Frank has done to her business. She doesn't see a way out of this. She doesn't see like where this can work out for her. She's looking at like total destruction. You wiped me out. I don't have a nest egg. I don't have anything. You know, it's not like you can go and go get a loan from someplace. And now your credit is all jacked up because you have court cases pending against you because people are like, we want our money. And um, bill collectors are going to court to get that money. You know what I'm saying? Like people will levy your accounts. They're not playing with you. Mm. To have the person who's been your hero, your father, do something like that, it's heartbreaking. I don't see where Nana and Papa or anybody else in the family didn't pass it up because she comes from a family, they got some money. But it's like, everybody's so willing to just let her struggle. She, she'll figure it out. She, she, she'll make a way. Mm. You know, we talk about like, why are some women so independent? Who are you going to depend on but yourself if they if there's never been anybody there for you to depend on? I mean, you can't be mad at somebody's independence if they've never had anybody to depend on. Well, I'm in your life now. Well, I mean, you know, you got to work through these trust issues if they started when you were a child. Mm -hmm. If you if you wasn't able to trust your mother to buy you a pair of shoes, and some people don't, and they don't understand it, they'd be like, "Of course, your parents bought you shoes." Yeah, you need to have a couple conversations with us. Okay. <laughs> some people have been abandoned from the womb. Seriously. Some people have been abandoned from the time that their parents gave birth to Malisha calls them feral. She's like feral kids run around here taking care of themselves. And the parents provide a roof, but for the most part, you fend for yourself. That's a real, that's a real problem. We don't talk about that enough, but um, I felt for Malia and being depressed and just, I mean, I feel like it just, it's all of this. Like Monica said, we knew she was going to hit this point. We knew, like you could tell she was on course to have an explosion. Like this is what happens when you've been strong for too long. And nobody even knows, you know, like you live in the society where you have to think about image. So you can't put your daddy on blast. You can't pull a Kiki, Kiki Palmer's boyfriend and send out a tweet that my daddy stole all my money. Six figures is missing. And I'll find the brink of destruction. You come from a you come from a family and a society where you handle things internally. You figure you figure it out. So I felt for her where sometimes you can be so overwhelmed with the pressures of life where you're like, I don't wake up in the morning, it'll be okay. Cause I'm just I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of every day being another heartbreak, tired of somebody else coming at me crazy. The people who should be supporting you, the people who should be having your back, the people who should be loving you and hyping you up the most. You gotta fight with your mother. You gotta fight with her little funky friend. You gotta fight with Nana and all that crap. Like again, y'all haven't seen the um, you know, Nana and Sandy emerge, but they come in, baby, in the next couple chapters. You're gonna see why Malia's like. Oh my God, like your, your mother and your grandmother are savages. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they are a reflection of how this community operates and behaves. So I definitely felt for her. What was your thoughts, Alicia, on Malia's reflection? Um, <clears throat> I don't, I feel bad for her. Um, but again, I can relate. I can relate to that feeling, um, personally. And then also, um, that I've witnessed in, um, you know, my friends, with y'all, you know, um, going through mm -hmm. it and going through my own stuff and just, you know, feeling like, you know, not suicidal, but just like, you know, like Karina said, if I don't wake up tomorrow, you know, I try, you know what I mean? Um, right. And what her dad did, um, me and Kiri A was saying earlier, you know, a few episodes back, we like, yeah, he he deserved every piece of that beat down. And, um, you know, her running to the hospital 
Like, you know, I was talking, well, it wasn't smack because I really felt that and I still stand on everything that I said, but, you know, it kind of goes to sometimes, well, you know, we, we shouldn't, but we excuse our parents, mm -hmm. excuse, but you know what I mean? Like what we put up with, with, we um, excuse. you said it right. Parents. Yeah. Make allowances, you know, tolerance. I'm not trying to put, you know, people on blast, but it's just crazy the amount of stuff that they can do. And you still, I don't know, for me with, you know, I was always still that trying to get that approval. Yeah. A loyalty that wasn't afford, you know, afforded to me. They'll, you know, turn on you in a second. Right. Talk about you like a dog or whatever. Um, a second. A second. And, you know, us always, you know, I don't know. But um, she could have lost everything and she's still trying to put pieces back together. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what if I was in her exact shoes. I mean, I've had stuff happen that you wouldn't even, you know, believe, you know, believe. Um, and, you know, I've had to get help and, and therapy and stuff like that. But for her, um, we seen this coming. It it did seem like she's unwrapped, mm -hmm. like without going crazy and snapping, but just this, you right. know, she's been almost kind of impulsive um, mm -hmm. dealing with this, you know, she's got this, confi you know, Mike hurt her and then it don't help that he keep popping up on her too with his craziness. And then, um, you know, she's, she's excited about Chan, but probably, a little nervous like oh man because she's already lost mm -hmm. in him and she don't know how that's about to pan out and it's right doing stuff you know she's um no she's loosey goosey she's getting she's drinking a lot more um and so yeah all that i can relate those are my thoughts on um yeah and um i know curious said that she would run I mean, I, I don't even know what I would do in this situation other than probably just at some point completely buckle under the pressure and then have to figure out, okay, I've hit rock bottom. I've, I've cried for days. I haven't eaten, um, lost some weight. Now I got to stand back up and figure out what I'm going to do. I know, would because feel, that's my thing. I she hope. can't. <laughs> yeah. She would feel, yeah. She feels stuck because it's like, you can't get up and run off because you know, so security numbers are a real thing and credit scores are too. And people ain't gonna stop coming for you. So she knows she has to like, <laughs> she has to take care of it. But yeah, I don't even know what I would do. But I, I know going forward, there would definitely have to be greater boundaries in place, even with family and, and money and people being around my stuff.